Good morning, 5 a.m. bright and early at DCA. Here I am, galley queen today. Hair is still wet. Sign in today was at 5 a.m. It's a two day trip. This first flight is DC to Miami two and a half hour sit, which I'm not mad at because Miami has really good coffee and really good food. It's one of my favorite airports for food. It's like five in the morning and I'm like, food. <laughs> and then after the two and a half hour sit-ish, we do Miami to Nashville. I haven't been to Nashville in a minute. This is where I am working today. I am working galley. I will be setting up all of the beverage carts. We've been catered. I'm not sure if we've been catered yet. Let's see. I want to say, oh yeah, you can always tell if you've got fresh ice. Yep, we've been catered. Lots of juices in the morning. A few things this morning. One, the Starbucks line was insane. Insane. Normally this early, I feel like it's not that long and it was so long today. So I'm working off of pure, I don't know, what is a pure adrenaline? Pure nothing, my tank is empty. Two, totally forgot my makeup bag. I have not done that in so long. I think I just haven't had these early morning sign-ins. They get me, they get me and I forget so much stuff. I'm gonna make, oh no. I think, okay, that, okay, there we go. I was like, those aren't turning on. I'm gonna make some coffee this morning. There's the coffee pots. It's like, look, nothing is labeled. <laughs> it's just kind of, you just kind of open and just see what are in these. Here we go. Here's my coffee. I can see it right here. Get some coffee. It is 8.36 a.m. Just landed in Miami airport. We're in one of these far gates. We're gonna do a lot of walking. <laughs> Going to go find some breakfast and Cuban coffee. I love Cuban coffee, it's so good. Like, <laughs> we are in a far terminal over here. So La Coretta is right across from D39. Sometimes I get the guava pastries, but today I just got some empanadas. We all got one of the coffees. These are so good. Ooh, this one's hot. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ooh, it's really sweet today. They put a lot of sugar in here. And it's hot. Look how many departures and arrivals are in Miami. Such a big airport. This is our view, eating lunch. Front row view here. Well, this door is kind of blocking it. Okay. Look. My hair is curly, okay? It is ever since I got it cut. Like, look. There is no more dead. It is so curly. It's almost a little too curly. I'm like, wait a second now. I'm like not used to this. My hair's been dead for so long. Uh, okay, so we just got on the plane. Our plane got here like super, super early. And so they, the gate agents let us on. I'm gonna, have, gonna set up my carts right now because I have like so much time. I was totally out of it when I was talking to you guys this morning. I was just like, you guys, I... I don't even remember like, what I said honestly, but I am having, like, I am on Struggle Street this morning. Let me show you guys. I broke my glasses on my last flight. I was in flight and my glasses like fell on the floor. I don't know. I don't know. They just like fell off my head. I think I had them like up here and they fell on the floor and this little gold part right here on this side fell out. So when I went to put my glasses back on, I was like, I put them on and they fell right off because that little gold part was holding them tight. 
I don't even know how to describe it. But without that gold part, this part was so loose. So I put some tape on there. I feel like I'm so glad at least the tape isn't like in the middle. Can you like really tell? Can you guys tell that this is like, or does it look like just like part of it? Like maybe it's like part of my uniform. <laughs> We're in Nashville Airport. Nashville's so bright. I'm hearing good things about this place. I guess it's a bar where people get discovered, like country music. Oh, like country music people? Okay, maybe I'll get discovered. I'm just gonna go over there and start singing. loving everything except wait I'm not sure about this carpet <gasps> what? Oh my. what a whole kitchenette a little bistro nice let's see this view set that there. There is literally a fridge and this is like a full-size dishwasher. Oh my gosh. It's like bigger than my dishwasher at home. Ooh, perfect. Okay, I need that later. Wow. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Okay, getting some Nashville vibes here. Here we go. This, my goodness. Only one bed, but this is a cool room. Look how big it is. Just setting, set you guys down there for a second. <laughs> Taking off my little shoes. Obsessed with these little Mary Janes still. Okay, they look gross inside. These are from Clark's. I literally can wear these all day. I do not have to change into in-flight shoes. Even though these have a heel, they don't, like hurt me, they don't hurt my feet. They're totally not super sexy or anything, but they're so comfortable. I'm so a five year, over five plus year flight attendant. I've gotta find that meme for you guys. There's a meme, how you can tell flight attendant seniorities. And like the year like one through zero through like two flight attendants wear heels that are like this big and then as your seniority goes up, your heels get smaller. This is almost seven years seniority. I'm like loving this, you guys. Okay, so in my flight attendant career, being based out of New York mainly, I never really had long Nashville layovers. We did short layovers where we just stay by a hotel really close to the airport because we have maybe 10 or 12 hours in the city so it's not worth it to be in a hotel like close to all the action close to like downtown areas this is exciting i'm excited it is let me see what time so right now it is 12 39 nashville time but that's really it's an hour difference from dc i am going to take a nap <laughs> I was up, my alarm went off. I'm like, what am, I, like so, what am I doing with myself here? I'm just like floating around the room. My alarm went off at 3.30. That gave me an hour to get ready and then leave my house by 4.30 a.m. and it takes me about a half an hour to get to the airport. Sign-in was at 5 a.m. <laughs> the early morning sign-ins get me so loopy. I'm just like, wait, what is going on? What's today? I need some coffee. Broke my glasses. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <laughs> this is tape that catering uses to stick the catering papers on the galley carts. And it is really holding my glasses <laughs> together. Definitely feel like I was in the process of telling you guys what I was doing and then I kind of just stopped. It's almost one o'clock here in Nashville. I am going to take a nap and then meet two other crew members downstairs at four o'clock and we're going to go to 
Broadway Street. I've never been to like downtown Nashville or like hip Nashville country music area, but I guess Broadway is the happening street. So I want to get a good nap, get some rest. So I'm ready to go and go explore downtown Nashville or Broadway Street. Is it downtown or is it just called Broadway Street? Blackout. Oh, oh my gosh. They need to, is, what is that? They need to like clean the windows. Oh, what, what's, wait, what's going on over here? There we go. No! I love hotel rooms. <laughs> they feel so grand. I like feel like a queen or princess every time I get to these hotel rooms. I have so much fun going into hotel rooms. This is the best. If you like hotel rooms, become a flight attendant. We just got here. This is Broadway, you guys. So tons of bars and restaurants. I think that's, does that say honky tonk? Yep. This is the restaurant we're going to, the 1230 Club. And it's Justin Timberlake's new restaurant, right? Yeah. We've definitely made reservations. Not sure we needed them. It did say honky tonk. so good in here. <laughs> Ooh, look, like seven and a half. That's my size. Does it look good? Are we loving the honky tonk? Oh wait, no, that's like, I'm like line dancing. <laughs> this is a Broadway. You can see, you can see all the people. I'm on a rooftop right now. <laughs> okay, these are pork belly dumplings. This is happening after dinner. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. Mmm, prelude samples. Oh man, I used to love bin candy in college. Oh, it was the best. Okay, have you guys ever tried these? Here is a night shot. Oh, it's crowded here. Kind of reminds me of Vegas with all the lights. Just got back to the room, picked up some stuff from Whole Foods. <laughs> So random, but one of my mom's best friends visited like every single national park that there is and I saw this national park calendar at Whole Foods and I was just like, you know what, that's such a good gift for her. So for tomorrow, I got a coffee, a Mecca cold brew coffee since pickup tomorrow is at 4, 10 a.m. And then I got some fruit for breakfast. Hopefully I don't forget that in the morning. And those are some empanadas that one of the deadheading pilots brought the whole crew empanadas. So I randomly have those as well. That was such a fun night. I have never been to Broadway in Nashville. A toothpaste and a toothbrush from the front desk. Not only did I forget my entire makeup bag this trip, I also forgot my toiletry bag. In the almost seven years that I have been a flight attendant, I have never forgotten my toiletry bag. Like, I'm shocked right now. I just can't, like, where is my mind? Like, where am I right now? Like, what is going on? On the bright side, super random hotel fact that if you forget your toothbrush and toothpaste, most hotels will give you a free toothbrush. I mean, it's nothing, like, fancy. <laughs> Just a standard little toothbrush here and they will give you toothpaste and actually I Haven't ever forgotten my toothbrush, but I have forgotten toothpaste before like, I don't know how those two got separated in my bag and I've asked the hotel for toothpaste and they always give these flat ones And these are so awesome to travel with it is 731 
Nashville time and that means it's 8:31 in DC right now going to brush my teeth with my new brand new state-of-the-art toothbrush I just watch a little Netflix go to bed I just finished squid games on Netflix you guys it's dark it's really dark it's a Korean show it's dubbed it's dubbed in English I like binged it in was it three days? I binged it in three days and I think there was like nine or ten episodes. It was very dark, but it was good. It was done really well and it really puts you in a position where you're watching it and you're thinking, what would I do in this situation? Like literally, what would I do? So I need a new show. The Britney Spears documentary just came out, so I think I will probably start watching that. And yeah, 4, 10 a.m. sign in downstairs. We have two flights. We do Nashville to Dallas. Then we have like an almost three hour sit in Dallas, which sucks because you're so tired. You just want to get home. We have to sit there for three hours and then we do Dallas back to DC. So this is just a two day trip, super easy. Honestly, what a great trip. I have not gone out with crew in a really long time. It's a really, really good time. So that was fun. I feel like I've got a mess here. I don't like my room looks just, there's a lot of stuff just everywhere. <laughs> I hate that my bed's already messed up for tonight. Good morning, guys. It's like three something in the morning. I was sitting here pondering life and seeing what my day was gonna bring me. I was looking at my tablet to see what plane we're flying on today and how many passengers we have. I'm just kind of like staring at my luggage here. Like, hello luggage. I appreciate that I remembered you because I didn't remember my makeup. I didn't remember my toiletry bag. My hair is like, I have no product to put into my hair. And I just looked in the mirror. I was like, wow, it's really frizzy. Like, but I appreciate you, suitcase. And then I was looking at this, and I'm like, what are these extra zippers? Like, where does this go? I know this goes here. I put like my National Parks calendar that I bought for my mom's friend. And I put some extra toothpaste, because I already brushed my teeth, so I'm gonna save that extra toothpaste. And I was like, what is this? It's a whole other pocket. It's like a hidden pocket. I did, my other suitcase did not have a hidden pocket like that. Three something in the morning, just discovering new pockets on my luggage. So I just went to pick up my glasses and realized that the other part of my glasses just fell off the other side. <laughs> so that little gold part is supposed to go right there. And you see, my glasses let's see if they'll do it do you see how wide they are now so I'm going to literally need another piece of tape for this side of my glasses oh my gosh okay doing a quick room sweep everything is packed over there nothing is plugged in you guys know I've lost so many chargers. No, not much really to check here. Didn't have any toiletries to forget. I put this towel here by the fridge to deliberately be like, wait, why is that there? Like, that towel shouldn't be hanging there. Why is it there? And it's to not forget my stuff in the fridge. I didn't pack my lunch pail, so that's how well, that's going. Anything else in there, but here, oh, I need a mask. I don't have to be downstairs, can we see this? This says 3.59. I don't have to be downstairs until 4.10. And look, I'm literally ready. I'm ready 10 minutes early, 4 a.m. I'm already ready, I'm like ready to go, like, here we go. I'm gonna go downstairs early because I do remember they have coffee here at this hotel, so just gonna go down there, get coffee and be early. Like, yeah guys, I'm always this early. This is like my usual thing. It is 4.06 a.m. Pickup was at 4.10 a.m. I'm down here early, like, oh my gosh, look at me, like this is my normal thing. My whole crew's already here. I think it is a normal thing. See, 
this glue tape is everywhere. We also use it. Let's see, more blue tape. Oh, there's even some there. I'll just use a little bit of that for this side too, so they don't break mid-flight. I've got my breakfast set up here in the crew lounge. These are empanadas that a pilot gave us that a pilot brought on for the whole crew. He brought like, I don't know, like 10 empanadas and we all took a few. I didn't eat them yesterday though, so I just heat, heated them up today. They're good. We have a few hours before our next flight, so we just came to the crew lounge. Mark. That's what supposed to be for your boyfriend. No, for both of us, okay? Oh, it's for both of you. <laughs> We've got like, we had like a two hour and 55 minute sit, but between deplaning and then boarding again, it really brings it down to like an hour and a half-ish. So, just sitting here, just gonna enjoy our empanadas. I hope there's not like another storm coming. Look how like, foggy that looks over there. We do not need it to storm. We need to get out of here before it starts. Made it home, you guys. I'm home. Oh, I tied this too tight. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Bear, yes, mom's home. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty easy flight. Just did uh, DFW to DCA. Took about two and a half hours. It was really starting to hit me. I was getting really tired like that last hour. It was me and the other two flight attendants were up front and we were just like, hi. <laughs> yes, we all woke up at 3 a.m. We're exhausted. <laughs> okay, Bear, okay. I know, I. You're so excited. Mom's home, Aww. Okay, 